every new California buddy. I made it back to California. I'm not wearing an NCR shirt, but I assure you I'm here in California. Uh, this time I chose to move to the LA area. Um, and it's the reason is I've never tried LA before and I just wanted to try an adventure that was all mine. So I'm not doing, I didn't move here for work. I didn't really move here for any other reason other than to just put my talents and skills to use in a different way that I haven't before. So, so this vlog is just a little recap of my first month in LA and what I've been doing. So I'll take you a little bit around the neighborhood that I live in. Uh, the city is called Eastvale, California. Um, it's a nice little town. Um, it's, it's way east of LA. It's still in the greater LA area, but it's in what we call the Inland Empire. Um, I'll show you where I work out. Uh, I'll show you a couple of uh, the places I visit often. Uh, and then we'll go around and take a look at things like the Amazon Distribution Center. Uh, Amazon has a pretty big presence here in the city. So let's go. And right here, I thought I would just show you where East Bale is in relation to L.A. This is a flyover of L.A. That's the L.A. area, and now we're focusing on East Bale. It's in the Inland Empire, as you can see. It's about 50 miles out of L.A., and it's just south of Rancho Cucamonga, north of Corona. Also, you'll notice that East Bale has this odd panhandle that sticks out the north side. I highlighted it in red. That's actually an industrial area, and that's where Amazon is. I'll take you over there in a minute. And actually, I thought I would do a quick flyby of um, the east side of East Bale, and we're actually flying right over the panhandle right about now. Uh, there's not only is there Amazon and some warehousing, but there are... Uh, restaurants and a couple of um, shops so I'll show you those after a bit alrighty we are outside my gym at the north side of Eastvale so Eastvale has this panhandle that sticks out the north side of the north side of the city and I'll show you that on a map in a minute um, this is a pretty hardcore gym let's get over there um, it's expensive, but it's worth it. Uh, they also do CrossFit. They do a couple of other programs here, uh, like uh, extreme fitness programs. Um, we're not going in tonight, but I'm going to show you footage in there in just a minute. Um, and why don't we explore the neighborhood a little bit more? You'll see Amazon Distribution Center in a minute, and we'll also go into some new development. Uh, you'll also get to see the San Gabriel Mountains in just a moment. Um, there's a particular reason why I'm shooting at this time of day. I love shooting right about now when the sun is setting uh, because it, it softens the shadows and it creates this really um, muted effect that I like in vlogs. Okay. All right, now this particular intersection here is actually in another city. It's called Ontario, so there's a city limit, or there's a boundary right over there. Uh, but you can see that we are surrounded in the valley by mountains. Uh, there's a couple of um, nicknames for this whole area. There's Riverside County. I mean, we are in Riverside County. Uh, there's also the Inland Empire. Uh, because we're, we're close to LA, but we're far enough out to where we are separated by a big mountain range. So the mountain range that separates us from LA is right over here. I'll pan around and then you should be able to see it. Yeah, that's it, see? I mean, there's mountains in every direction. That's why it's called the valley. Um, then also, um, that's the San Gabriel Mountains, um, or at least the foothills of them. Um, I think those are around 5,000 foot mountains behind me. Uh, that's not the, the highest point of the Sierra Nevada. The Sierra Nevada, which separates Nevada from California. Some of those peaks are upwards of 9,000, 10,000 feet. Uh, this is a good time of the night to shoot too, right after sunset. Um, you can still see everything, but um, the sun isn't blinding us. Um, 
Oh, this is interesting. Yeah. Here we are outside this massive distribution center that Amazon has built in Eastvale. And I think they actually extended the city limits to allow for this gigantic, I mean, look at it. It's like uh, at least four blocks long and it goes all the way down to the end of that road there. Uh, also, this is a neighborhood that's right next to mine and it does connect to mine it's just uh i think it's called homecoming and these are it's kind of like a housing development except it's not a gated community it's just in fact we can walk up to this map you'll see it's an open world map it kind of makes me feel like i'm playing a game when i look at this yeah it's cute um i haven't seen that a lot where you they show you the the map of the entire neighborhood as you're going in there makes it easier to rob everybody unfortunately and by the way while I was shooting footage outside at night I thought I'd show you some objects that you can enjoy in the night sky they're pretty easy to spot so um, you see Jupiter is the brightest object I'm focusing on right now and then over to its right you can barely see it there's Saturn uh, so you can see both Jupiter and Saturn in the night sky. They're fairly close to each other. If you're in the northern hemisphere, you just have to look south. And if you're in the southern hemisphere, it's vice versa. And then um, over here, there is another very bright object. It's actually brighter than Jupiter. Um, it's right in the center now. That's Venus. So you can see Jupiter, Saturn, and Venus um, just after sunset. I mean, this is... You can still see some of the... Um, uh, uh, you know the the dusk glow so this is just after sunset that's when you can see all three objects all right now why don't I show you some footage in my new gym it's called East Vale Athletics and we were outside just a little while ago so you'll see that there's no air conditioning that's why I'm always dripping with sweat now, you may or may not have seen this particular machine before. This is the GHD mas machine. It's the glute and hamstring developer. And I'm just doing rear extensions on these. And actually, um, yeah, that's exactly what I'm doing with this particular um, exercise. I also It also works out the lower back. And another thing I like about the GHD machine is that there's a whopping, I think there's eight different exercises you can pull off on this machine. And what I'm doing here is just barbell rows. I often do these when I'm working up back and biceps uh, before I do deadlifts on a deadlift day. Uh, by the way, I'm a little bloated, but that's all just water retention. That's from creatine. And also, well, you noticed how much I'm dripping with sweat. Well, I have to have the fan on above me, and I have to have this commercial size fan blasting on me from the side. That's the only way to keep it under 100 degrees in the gym. Okay, now this is an unusual uh, exercise for chest. Uh, you might not have seen people do this, but this is the cable crossover for lower chest development. Um, notice how I, you can only do one hand at a time or one um, peck at a time. You have to cross the cable over the cent uh, past the center of your body to get that um, contraction in your lower center uh, pectoral muscles. Um, and I use those because uh, I need a little bit of development there. See, so in, with any exercise or with any fitness regimen, you kind of focus on your weakest areas. All right, and then these are simple. These are just basic incline flies. Um, notice that I do arch my back a little bit. It's actually good to arch your back when you're doing um, bench any kind of bench exercise and also notice I'm not using uh, much weight uh, in fact these are just 20s you don't really need a lot for these accessory movements um, the important thing is that you feel the contraction and you're getting the form exactly right that, those are the two most important things for um, 
kind of moving along with and developing your your fitness program okay now these are sort of what I showed you earlier but these are UCB crossovers uh, this is for upper chest I'm the motion starts at the bottom and then it moves to the upper part of the chest with a crossover beyond the center of your body see that's it. and then you have to do it individually too you also have to balance yourself that's why I'm holding my hand out for a counterbalance just like it just like a cat these are very effective uh, it's amazing how much size you can put on your chest by doing just those with with and I think I was just using 15 pounds there All right, and the last clip I thought I would show you is just uh, me doing inclined presses. Um, notice I'm using some chalk just to, because uh, all the sweating causes things to slip around a lot. So I sometimes put the chalk on my back too. Um, all right, now this is, again, this is not a lot of weight and you really don't need a lot of weight um, unless you're trying for a PR, but then even then, um, on the incline bench, uh, PRs aren't really that important. What's important is that you feel a contraction and you've got the form exactly right. Uh, you must feel that you're pushing the bar, out, like you're pushing yourself away from the bar. That's a great way to represent the true motion of an incline bench press and also the regular bench. You have to pretend like you're pushing yourself away from a wall or you're pushing yourself away from a bar. Um, You'll even see me fail, and that's why I have this spotting racks right there. Now watch, I think this, this, yeah, this is where I fail. And there it is, right there. Um, it's better to fail at the end if you have those spotting racks like I do. You have to set them up just right so that it doesn't squash you. Well, anyway, there's my first vlog of 2021 using a brand new video editing software, which is Premiere Pro. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Now, keep in mind that even though I don't upload all that much on YouTube, my main entertainment space is on Twitch, on my Twitch channel. So if you could, please uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel, but also follow me on Twitch as I stream there very often. All right, we'll see you next time in... NCR territory. Thanks for watching.